So in order for us to use the tick event from the timer, we have to actually set up the tick event first. So I'll go to the design, I'll select the timer, go to properties, and then in this lightning bolt, which is the events for the timer, and there's only one event, and that's the tick. So I'm going to create a tick event and simply call it timer underscore tick. And it will create the timer tick event. So the first thing we need to do, like I said, we are going to remove the last piece of the snake. So we will replace it with a rectangle that is simply white like the background. We actually want it obviously a square and we want the square to be size of the 35 by 35 pixels. But the graphics for the C sharp don't have draw a square, but it has a rectangle instead. But it's easy, we'll simply set the height and width of the rectangle to be the same, which obviously creates a square. So the first thing, we'll do the graphics, so G dot, and we want the rectangle to be filled with white color. So instead of just drawing the rectangle, which would draw the outline, we want the fill rectangle. So fill rectangle, and it fills the interior of a rectangle by color that we specify. So the color that we want is white. But for now, I'm going to actually make it black so it's visible when we test it. So I'll use the brushes dot black as the color. The next thing, it needs the X and Y coordinates. And the X and Y coordinates is the last piece of the snake. So we'll take the length of the snake minus one, obviously, because we start from zero. And that gives us the last body part of the snake. So the X coordinate will be in our snake XY array with the index of snake length minus one. And of course, this is a structure, so it has the X and Y coordinates, so dot X. So this is our X coordinates of the last piece of the body. And we have to multiply it by 35, which is the size of the pixels. And it's the same for Y coordinates. So the Y coordinates will be again the snake XY with the index of snake length minus one. And this is for the Y coordinates. So we have the coordinates of the last body part. So now we have to set the width and height of the square that we want. And again, it has to be the same, otherwise it would be a rectangle. So it's 35 pixels, both width and height. So this creates a black square on top of the last piece of the body. And it's black, but obviously I'll make it white later. So what I want to do now is to place these coordinates into our game board field and assign this field to be now not snake, but instead free. So in our game board field with the index, and the index is the same. So I'm gonna copy this index for the X so this is the first dimension of the array, and the second dimension is the Y coordinates, obviously, so I'll copy that and place it there. And the color that we want, or the field that we want, is the game board fields dot free. It used to be snake, but now we want to set it to free. And we can actually test it. All I have to do here is to refresh the picture game board. So the picture game board dot refresh and it will redraw everything on the board so let's see if we get the black square there well we did but it's up here so obviously the coordinates are wrong so on the x it was correct oh because on the y over here i forgot to multiply it by the number of pixels which is 35. i did it for the x coordinates but i forgot for the y so let's try again and this time you can see that there's a black square where the body part, the last body part used to be. So I'm going to remove this refresh that was just for the testing, and I'm going to change the color to white. All right, so we are now ready to, for the next step, and the next step is to start moving the coordinates of each of the body parts one step up. 